People are arriving, people are very happy, going to build some awesome stuff. I'm like so excited, I'm so happy to be here, I can't wait. I'm excited just to meet new people and I'm nervous about the bugs. <laughs> Almost every other hackathon has happened in some sort of corporate office, mostly in San Francisco. This is not San Francisco, <laughs> clearly. So we're taking people outside their comfort zone. I think it also pretty thoroughly embodies the spirit of Hack Club because we're starting from scratch here. So it's creating the epoch of society with our own civilization and we're all assembling together. Well, we are now working on getting all the services for Outer Land up that we were supposed to do this morning. We do like a Linux box that people can host their websites on or whatever. And then uh, identity, which is single sign on. So you have one like Outer Land account. Chat, which is like a chat server because there's going to be no internet. Caching, so you can like still use resources while there's no internet. But nothing left to do. As of now, just getting a good idea that can make people laugh, I guess, is going to be the biggest challenge. Figuring out what people find funny. So it's really been only 12, 13 hours. Wow. This is, okay, wow, yeah, <laughs> it has been. Um, yeah, lots of building today, that's the main focus. Uh, workshops, lighting talks, um, and we'll have a bit of fun in the evening, but that yep. is yet to be revealed. So we made a clock, so basically if you plug this in, this will like flash at a constant interval. And this is like the start of a computer. So this is just like basically the timer that we're going to use for the computer. Yeah, so we're going to make a flamethrower out of sunscreen. We're going to stick it into this guitar, toy guitar. So think of this little dog spewing out flames. And while you're jamming tunes, you can control how long and how far the flame goes. First, we have to make sure that the 3D printed everything actually fits and the servo is powerful enough to actuate it. Wiring up the microcontroller to the toy buttons is pretty easy. It's just getting the servo to actually actuate the bottle. I'm working with the Outerland team to provide like a network for the entire campsite. I actually learned a lot within the past day or two. I learned more about Proxmox, I learned about routing. Usually at home, I have to like look at wikis and stuff, but here I can talk to people, we can collaborate. It's been really amazing. My friends are who make me laugh the most, and I have a lot of trouble with all of my friends and I having really busy schedules. So I wanted to make something that would kind of take all of our calendars and compile them together and then find gaps in those calendars where we could hang out. I really like the problem solving element of making a project. Like, I don't know how to fix this, but I'm sure I can figure it out. <laughs>
fact that like we're camping and we're like we get to, like it's a hackathon, like it just gives us a reason to work together like the whole time. This is the third day of the event and we're about eight hours left to when all ships have to be in, all projects have to be done. We have like buttons these, and the buttons are going to be like going through an Arduino which is talking to a computer via serial which lets us know when the buses are pressed on the computer. We're going to do a bunch of software games like whack-a-mole and rhythm games and stuff that take advantage of that. And then you miss it to make another sound. It's working. I'm incorporating a, uh, a taser into the game Simon. What I did was I took the speaker out of the Simon and I took the signal from that to trigger a relay which can then trigger anything, in this case, a taser. Boat racing competition. They've got cardboard, pool noodles, giant logs, uh, rope. And the goal is to get as far that way across the pond as possible without sinking. I mean, they're all going to sink, but the goal is to just get a decent distance. And, uh... and resistors like work together um, and like how to wire them and I learned about like 555 timers um, and like the internals of them. Like I'm really happy I came here. All the people are so cool. This like whole event is amazing. We built a raycasted, infinitely procedurally generated maze filled with art people created in Haxidraw that you navigate with a plunger that uses computer vision. And you can throw tomatoes at shitty artworks. Fire! 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 I've been programming since I was like quite young, like fifth grade, and I always did it alone. So then coming into Hack Club, seeing a bunch of makers just like inspired me to work with people. Like, I met some of my closest friends at my first Hack Club event, and going to Hack Club events always like makes me happy about making. Keep hacking! I'm so sad that we have to leave tomorrow. <laughs> it's been really magical. Thank you for being part of this.